I took the Reapers, look. <laughs> I took the Reapers from Hurtberry Farms, and it says Pepper Competition right here. Pretty cool, right? So we got some Hurtberry Farm Carolina Reapers, but. And what I'm gonna do with them, guys, I'm gonna dehydrate them, and we're gonna make some Hurtberry Tink. I'm pretty excited. These peppers, okay, they they lit my throat up on the, in the competition, like just automatically engulf my throat in heat. And so I'm excited. I don't know how much powder we're gonna render from uh, you know, these Carolina Reapers, but we're gonna dry them out and uh, we're gonna make some tank, some Hurtberry tank. Let's do it. Once they're done dehydrating, we're going to blend them up. We're going to grind everything, right? We're going to sort, <clears throat> turn it into a powder. Then we're going to go buy some Everclear. And we're going to try to extract the capsaicin from the powder itself. Hopefully turn it into liquid form. I'm going to take you guys along for that process. These Reapers are screaming hot from Burberry. And uh, it's been a while since I had a Reaper this hot, so... You know, my first logical thing I thought of was let's make some tank. Let's make some tank. They were, they were, they came out of the freezer. They were frozen and then they came out of the freezer for the pepper competition. And as a lot of chili heads know, the, the, the wall, the structure of the wall, the pepper itself will, will break down, turn soggy almost. So I had two options basically make a hot sauce or we can dehydrate them and make it tank. And, you know, I got two full bottles of tank left up there. Well, maybe a bit more, maybe three bottles of tank. But I thought, you know what, when that's gone, this will be ready. We have a huge problem. So the province of Ontario, Ontario, does not sell Everclear at all. So I've been searching high and low, to and fro. Nowhere sells it. And uh, I, I have found Alberta. The province of Alberta does sell Everclear, but they want you to have your order over $75. So I'd have to buy two bottles. And then they add in the $40 shipping charge on top of that. So the order ended up working out to be 150 some odd dollars. I can't, I just can't do that. So I'd be better off going buying bottles of tincture at that point, <laughs> really. So I think I have found another alternative at the LCBO. Let's go and see what happens and see if it can work. Okay guys, we're gonna go with some rum instead of Everclear. And we are looking for Goslings. There it is right there. There it is right there. 75% so this will work guys 75% will be 151 proof and we'll use this for extraction two hours later one week one week <laughs> that's how long we've been doing this video for <laughs> god dang I thought it was only going to take a couple of days really but you know what that's a good lesson for anybody out there you know sometimes in life Things don't always go as planned and you got to roll up your sleeves and dig in and get to work and that's when good things start happening. We were able to find solutions to our problems and you know what I think it's going to work out better. We got some rum which I think will be a smoother taste and tink and it's going to be different for me which you know I'm pretty excited about. So let's make our Hurtberry tink. Hey guys, 
guys, we're now going to add the powder into the mason jar. And then we're going to fill her up with some 151 rum here. And we're going to leave it sit for a long time. So let's go. See how much powder we get out of this. It's actually, I think, more than what I thought. Ooh, we want to be careful. We want to be careful, though. It's kind of all stuck in the bottom, so I'm just going to try to loosen it down there. Oh, yeah, there's lots down there. I think we'll get enough for a bottle or two or a tank pie for sure. Maybe three bottles. Powder smells potent. <laughs> but we dehydrated four trays of peppers. I only spilled a little touch on the table. There's some residue inside the blender, but I mean, there's what we got for powder from four trays of peppers. <laughs> so we're going to fill it about halfway with tink, or tink, with uh, rum. I mean, you can get the, you can get the powder even finer, but for me and what we're going to use, you know, it's going to be perfect for me. <clears throat> we will filter it out. That'll be the next step. It's going to sit for a couple of months and then we'll use some coffee filters. We'll let the tank air out for, I don't know, a little while and then we'll, we're going to strain it too with some coffee filters. But let's add our rum right now. Smells good. Here we go. The only thing we're using kind of amber rum, you can't really see the powder that well. <laughs> I think you will once it settles. You'll kind of see the separation a bit. I may just add a bit more to half. Something like that, guys. We'll go with that. Bye. And we're going to shake it. Put our lid on. Hopefully it don't leak. We're good. And then every, every couple of days, maybe even every day or two, we'll give her a good shake. Get all that powder mixed up. And what you want to do too, once, it, once it's done, once it's finalized and filtered, you want to air it out again, maybe let, it, let the alcohol evaporate even more. And she should be good and hot. If you want to add flavorings to it too, you could. I heard of people putting cinnamon in there, orange in there, orange extract, vanilla extract. You know, I, I don't know. I, I like pepper forward tinks. So I'm probably just going to leave it as is. And that way it'll be a true, a true Herbberry Farms tincture with just their peppers. So there you go, guys. We did it. We did it, bye. <laughs> Cheers, everybody.